Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have their first royal tour on the calendar. The couple, who recently returned from their honeymoon, will head to Australia, Fiji, the Kingdom of Tonga and New Zealand in the fall, Kensington Palace announced Sunday. The visit to Australia is no surprise. Meghan, 36, previously revealed she would join Harry, 33, at his next Invitas Games in Sydney. The Paralympic-style competition takes place from October 20 to 27, and in Sunday's announcement, their palace office confirms the tour will happen around the time of the Games. The new Duke and Duchess of Sussex who made her Buckingham Palace balcony debut on Saturday as the couple helped Queen Elizabeth celebrate her 92nd birthday will also head to other countries part of the Commonwealth of 53 nations linked to the UK The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will undertake an official visit to Australia, Fiji, the Kingdom of Tonga, and New Zealand in the autumn, reads the announcement. Their Royal Highnesses have been invited to visit the realms of Australia and New Zealand by the country's respective governments. The Duke and Duchess will visit the Commonwealth countries of Fiji and Tonga at the request of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. It's an important step for Meghan, who along with Harry is to take a key role in the Commonwealth. Among her royal commitments is her upcoming first solo public duty alongside the Queen. On Thursday, Meghan will accompany the monarch on a visit to Chester, which is about 165 miles northwest of London. The Queen knows the potential pitfalls of not giving new members a guiding hand, Ingrid Seward, author of the recent biography of the Queen and Prince Philip, My Husband and I, recently told People. It's all about the monarchy. She can't expect Meghan to know everything without being shown. She doesn't want 70 years of hard work to be for nothing, added Seward. I'm sure she feels Meghan needs a steadying hand in these early days. In April, Harry was made the head of the organization's youth forum, and he and Meghan are seen as perfect couple to champion the empowerment of women and the interests and concerns of young people who live across the family of nations linked to the UK.